honorable member for Cape Breton Center. Envy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Health. Nursing homes in Nova Scotia need to be adequately staffed in order for vulnerable seniors to get the care they need and deserve. This government's cuts to nursing home budgets means facilities are trying to do more with less. Jane Meadus, a lawyer at the Toronto-based Advocacy Centre for the Elderly, says there is an indifference towards seniors and care that would not be accepted in other facilities. She says that the attitude is, and I quote, this is just the way it is, and this is what we have to put up with, and I'll table that. Mr. Speaker, does the minister think it is acceptable that seniors in nursing homes can't even get a hot meal because by the time the CCA gets to them, their meal is cold? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, in fact, uh, I don't uh, agree with the assessment uh, that the uh, member uh, cited of this individual from uh, Toronto. Uh, perhaps uh, that's uh, the way uh, that individual uh, sees uh, the uh, viewpoint uh, in, in, in her jurisdiction, but Mr. Speaker, uh, we do take uh, the concerns and the quality of care in our long-term care uh, centers very seriously, Mr. Speaker. These are our parents and grandparents uh, in these facilities. Uh, that's why we appointed a, an expert panel, Mr. Speaker. The, uh, the three individuals there have impeccable uh, records in their research and their uh, clinical experiences. Uh, look forward to getting the recommendations from them so that we can then move forward, Mr. Speaker, on improving quality of care in long-term care in Nova Scotia. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Mr. S Mr. Speaker, one of the consequences of seniors staying at home longer is that they are more frail when they're placed in long-term care. A recent media report quotes the president of the Nova Scotia Nurses Union and she says, most of our residents are incontinent. Many of them cannot walk or need assistance to walk. The majority of them need help to bathe. Half or more need some help feeding. The requirement for those seniors has escalated and the funding hasn't changed. And Mr. Speaker, I've brought that example from a Glace Bay family in long-term care in Glace Bay that the resident needs to call her daughter 50 kilometers away to tell her that she needs to pee or that she's fallen. We know the addition of more beds. We need, we need time for those providing care with residents to ensure valuable seniors are safe and happy and healthy. Mr. Speaker, will the minister agree to increase funding to ensure adequate staffing levels are available in nursing homes? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. As uh, noted uh, previously, uh, we uh, do take the concerns uh, very seriously. Uh, that's why uh, we not only uh, appointed uh, the panel, but Mr. Speaker, we didn't wait uh, just for, for establishing a panel uh, to provide feedback. Uh, we've been uh, taking action on uh, recommendations that have come in, in previously. Uh, we've been investing in equipment and uh, technology. We've increased uh, funding for uh, for uh, food and recreation budgets, Mr. Speaker, based upon feedback. But we do, Mr. Speaker, believe that the recommendations that are going to come forward uh, will be positive uh, for uh, the care of uh, seniors in our long-term care facilities and residents, Mr. Speaker, of our long-term care facilities throughout the province and look forward to receiving those recommendations and then being able to move forward on them.